Can I get a stool? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A riser? Yeah, can I get a riser? Interrupts me right away. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Will Ferrell, and I'm hosting the season finale of SNL with Green Day. Well, it sure has been a great. Hey, no one told me she was going to talk, okay? Who approved her talking? Answer me! Any chance you guys will pop up in the skit this week? No, we're not much for acting or, yeah. or, or com well, comedy, but usually it's just all like the worst, um, like, un PC comedy that you could possibly think of. I got a face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you consciously set out to do another concept album, or is it just kind of that's what happened? You know, we started around January '06, and we just started. And, uh, you know, we had a blank piece of paper, so they were like, "Let's just write songs." And so, you know, throughout that time, just the ideas kind of kept coming and coming and coming. And then the song "21st Century Breakdown" kind of embodied everything that we were writing about. And then there was characters that started coming in, and we thought that they were just sort of reflecting. You know, I think that we're we're, we're writing. The best songs that, you know, in the, it's like our era right now, you know, I mean, the last album was, uh, you know, it was a huge step forward, and I think that with this one, we even took it, uh, like, three steps further. You so. had written some lyrics, but kept it from Trey and Mike for, for a while. Is that true? I never kept, no, I never we kept just, lyrics. Yeah, we just can't understand it. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. never really trying to get inside there until it's, the time is right. It, it's, the, yeah. the, it's my fake English accent that I've been doing for the past 15 years, so. No, we, um, <laughs> you know, we, um, you know, I, I sat down and read the lyrics, and, uh, you know, we just started seeing a common thread that was going throughout the record, and, you know, everybody was, it, it's, it's important that everybody's on, on board, you know, it's like, uh, especially with some of the topics that you're writing about. For, uh, we were actually approached by uh, Michael Mayer and Tom Holtz, who uh, did Spring Awakening. And, uh, you know, they, they uh, invited, invited us out to see Spring Awakening, and, and upon seeing that, we were just pretty uh, amazed. It's not your grandparents' uh, musical. And they wanted to, to, you know, take American Idiot through some workshops and uh, give a go at it. And then uh, we came out and saw a couple of the workshops, and uh, the kids that are in it are extremely talented and very inspirational. And, and it's sexy and dangerous and uh, relevant. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I'm excited about and it. And there's no intermission. You can't tell. <laughs> it just goes straight through. It's just a, like powerhouse. Yeah. And what's the plot revolve around? You know, the, for the musical, it's, the, uh, it's based on the characters, you know, um, uh, Jesus of Suburbia, St. Jimmy, um, what's her name? And, um, and there's no, real, there's no real dialogue to it. It's mostly just like straight like going for the songs. And we did a special packaging where there was letters that was in, uh, set in between the, the songs. It was letters uh, maybe it's just back home from, you know, Jesus of Suburbia character, St. Jimmy, or whoever you want to call it. So that's what the whole thing is based on is those, are those letters. And, and uh, you know, it should be cool. I think it could be a, uh, a three-film, like... You know, it could be like uh, Twilight or something. No, not Twilight. That's bad. But anyways, a bit like, or uh, you know, it could be like Star Wars or something like that. I have no idea. I mean, we just put it on record like that, you know, and that uh, there was so much material, and we were in love with all of it, and it all sort of tied in together. So, so doing the three acts was uh, it just made the most sense, and uh, it lent itself to being more creative, really.